Those vegan guys. I thank you. Hello, I'm Paul. I'm Jason. And together we are Those, those vegan, vegan Guys. guys. We've had our first allotment argument. Could you sense the exacerbation? Just for those of you that think like we're always dead rosy and smiling with each other, but no, we're a typical couple. We argue, but today we've been arguing about placement of the tomatoes. Well, we've got, as you know, if you've been keeping up with our allotment vlog, we've got very limited space. <laughs> and I've, as many of you have pointed out, um, these tomatoes are gonna get out of control. They're gonna potentially grow five, six foot. We desperately need to repot them. So the, the argument was basically, where, how, I'm worried about this bench behind us being able to take the weight of eight repotted tomatoes, but we're gonna go for it, aren't we? We're gonna to have to because we've just got no other room in here, basically. Which is what I was saying from the start. I suggested they should go in the tray on the floor, but then we're both a little bit concerned that they're not gonna get enough sunlight exactly. on the floor. Exactly, I'd already thought of that, you see, because I'm the quick thinker. <laughs> I love you, mister. Love you. Um, yeah, so we're going to repot the tomatoes. Uh, ow! Exactly. Some of these tomatoes and get them uh, on here, but in a big tray. Um, yeah. So let's start that, shall we? Welcome to Plot 25. Vlog 26. Two, Saturday. Yesterday was Friday. Yeah. Who'd have thunk it? Uh, so we're back again. Back once again for the Renegade Mester. We're back to harvest today. We're going to do a bit of weeding. We've got some plants at last to put in our rainbow pots. Um, rainbow pots and rainbow planters we're going to do today, aren't we? Oh, we're going to put the strawberries in, the, in that planter yeah. today. 
apparently we're going to plant the strawberries today now here's the important thing today is saturday june the 25th 6th 2021 now you all know that we have two combined best friends one of them is named Stuart and lives at Rochdale yes and one of them is named Kay Curdy and lives at Yelvertoft and she's here <laughs> come here come here and stay here stand here stand in the middle of us hi everyone <laughs> this is this is the lovely Kerridy our our only <gasps> our only joint female bestie in the like actual bestie proper bestie though, you know like Bestie. Uh, we were saying on the drive. each other for many, 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 many years. Also met at college. Yes. You know the story, I've yes. told the story. Uh, so Kay has come down for, you've had um, allotments for how long? Oh my god, so before Joni, so nine years? Nine I years. Think, something like that. Uh, so we're looking for the Kerridy vault of approval today. It's wonderful. It's <laughs> absolutely wonderful. Down here at Plot 25. Let's get on with some binnis. <gasps> now we walk off dramatically. All right. Sideways. Okay. This that way. way. This okay. way. All that right. way. <laughs> Nice. K oh, I didn't mention in what human is, form. Huh? I just said K in human form. Actual human form. These are uh, they're only two pound for four. They're trailing geraniums, red. So we've got a box of four for for there, obviously. Um, In the yellow one. Yeah. That'd be alright. Oh. What do you want in whatever? Does it matter what colour you want? You want love? What colours do you want in anything? Do you want, what do you want in the blue one? Well, I've got, if you look so far, it's flower, herbs, flower, this is a herb I'm about right. to plant. Hey, hang on, stop, what are you doing? Oh, what's that do? Stimulates the roots to grow because it's been root bound. That's all like packed in the pot. So breaking them oh. will go, hello, I need to grow again. I should and have then, probably done that with and the then tomatoes, it will shouldn't have. Yes. We didn't. Don't matter. We just repotted them in them. Yeah, they're all right. They're, they're doing all right. We only repotted them yesterday. Orange flower. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think it was. Called orange flower. I don't, I don't think it has a That's a trailing one and all in it. That's a garden leaner. Garden leaner. She's orange and fabulous. Are we trying a chili plant tank here then? Should we try one of these that's like desperately needs repotting? Why not? This is supposed to be Bucholokia red, so. I don't really like right. weeding. Let's see how Bucholokia does in there. Oh, oh. Just nice to have some things in these. <laughs> you know what I mean? Flower, flower, herb. And then I've got one flower left. Oh no, I've got two, three flowers left and three pots. Might as well just get them all in there now. Do it. Super. Where do you have composty? What, in a bit and sort of in there? Yeah, or oh, there's a little one underneath the planter that we sort of we put stuff in there and... Uh, Are you filming? Yeah. Uh, this one is trailing fuchsia. It were a pand from Morrison's. Merely a pand. A bleeding pand. <laughs> one English pound. Uh, What's next? Another one? Uh, What's in the last two? Uh, I'm going to do one of these, this one in the middle, and then the last one of these. Right. Oh! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. I mean, 
the only thing I can think is like maybe it's a bit over wood or if it's always wet maybe too wet but, but it shouldn't be there we go beautiful herbs <laughs> herbs and flowers Hiya. herbs and flowers just like we said so obviously we'll give them a bit of water and hopefully they'll be fine and grow into beautiful flowers and continue to grow as tasty herbs marvellous give them a good uh, soak for about half an hour and then we'll get them in the strawberry planter and there's loads more I'll take some of these home Jay you could fit more in where you've got your strawberries I know shall I Soak them all, soak them all and put them in with put them in Berry you Boulevard. You can put them at home and there and they'll probably Well, I'll put, I'll put another four in a line at the side of those ones there. Mm. Our lovely neighbour, Damon, has just come over with these and said, here, grab yourself a strawberry. <gasps> so we're having one. Thank you. Because we haven't got <laughs> this many yet. Cheers, dude. No worries. He doesn't want mm. to be on camera. <laughs> It's yeah, not everyone's cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> See me walking past. <laughs> <laughs> in That's the background. Yeah, thank you. Cheers, dude. Thank you. Gorgeous. What make are they? I can't remember. I think these ones are called marshmallow. Mm. Right. I've no idea what. I've got flamenco yeah. in my head. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> What's this? Wait. Did that go on the floor? No, I don't think so. Eat the greens. Good fire. I didn't know you could. A bit chewy. <laughs> So yeah, let's say five, definite. Right. Definitely be home at five. Okay. Kay is going. I'm going to see another friend uh, very quickly for an hour and then I will be going back to Paul and Jason's. It's been amazing to see the allotment at last. <laughs> and, and thank you uh, for your help. I know I wanted to get the tomatoes in really, but um, you know. It's you start, you've started, you've, yeah. you've helped us tremendously. Even if I don't do any work on my own allotment, because my husband does it all, he does it all, I'll put that on camera now because he'll complain that I was saying it was my allotment, I do all this allotment in. I haven't been to our allotment for about two months, so there you go, on the record for Ian. Nice. Bye! <laughs> Bye, love.
interesting to see how they do. Indeed. Actually in a proper outdoor bed. Oh, I hope they're all right. Well, it was this or, or nothing, wasn't it? If you think about it. Yeah, we didn't have any other room, did we, for them? Oh, God, it's warm. I just wanted to see once they were in what it was like. Oh, I'm with you. So, yeah, that's fine. Fabulous. <sighs> Get on with the rest after lunch, I think. I'm starving. Yeah. Good shout, mister. No, I'm not. I'm hungry. Hungry. Perhaps even ravenous. Five p in Sainsbury's on offer. One hundred percent plant-based, blooming good food court, warming tomato and lentil dal. Less than one hundred eighty calories, made with natural flavors. One of your five a day. Mmm, that's gorgeous, isn't it? Lovely. Mmm. Me and Stuart had one the other day when um, before we passed over to the girls. But. It does need a minute to cool, a couple of minutes to cool. Yeah, I thought it might. To be enjoyable. Mm -hmm. Well, that's just fine. Strawberry plant is going planted. We've got a place for it. Yeah. And uh, the main job that we've come down today to do, I haven't started yet. What's that? Harvesting. Oh, of course. I need yeah. to, I desperately need to harvest some stuff. Perpetual spinach is cut and regrow. You cut it back, you leave the roots in the ground, it regrows, which is just amazing and apparently it grows right up until the cold season. Clues in the name. Perpetual spinach. Where's your basket? Uh, but apparently um, spinach does the same and rocket does the same. That's cut and regrow as well. Rocket, we're going to be cutting, this is so exciting. You know, those of you that know our channel well and you know the recipes uh, as well as, you know, the allotment stuff, you know our... Um, uh, baguette pizza with the Greek style cheese on it and we fill it full of rocket we're having that tonight for dinner with Kay with our own our own rocket what we grew over there I'm so excited about <laughs> is that ridiculous I don't think so no I'm really excited I'm like we've got all that greenery there now that we can it's like going to the shop it's like going to the shop but it's free because we grew it I'll have, to, I'll have a bit of this, I'll have two of those, and one of that. You know, all bits and things. You'll have seen already that the uh, six tomato plants that we were really struggling with what to do with because of space in the greenhouse, uh, Keridate had suggested about us using the bed that we weren't really even going to use this year, and I think that's a, that's a wise decision, isn't well, it? Well, they're outside now, they've got their own space, we'll see how they fare. Um, we were talking yesterday as well and I do think that this is an important point, point to talk about. Uh, I'm sure that some gardeners will be very angry with me for saying this, but I'm wondering whether courgettes are actually cost effective to grow. I'll tell you for why. I can get a bag of courgettes at Sainsbury's for a pound. Like five in a bag. I'd probably get about five or six off one plant, but that one plant takes up three square feet of space. Whereas, and once it's picked, they're gone and that's it, the plant's dead. You know, it's not, it's not a comeback plant. 
is it a courgette plant? You have to start again next year with a new plant. Imagine perpetual courgette. Well, there's the thing. So the perpetual stuff is, of course, more cost effective to grow because we eat a lot of green, as you'll know. Uh, we eat a lot of spinach, we eat a lot of salad, we eat a lot of rocket. So those things that, that, that you can cut and regrow, that's going to be really cost, of, cost effective for us. Yeah. Uh, that's going to be a big um, mm. money saver, I think. Yeah, I think, that's, that's, I think that's a good way of looking at it. It's just thinking, and it will be different for, I imagine it will be different for everybody depending on what they eat in large quantity. Mm. But for us, like you just said, yeah, we can we can think about that, can't we? Salad Street is our main bed of regular things that we eat constantly. Yeah, isn't it? Is it is it cool enough now? Just about. Yeah. Of course, it's hot today, anyway, isn't it? Yeah, it's beautiful. It's a, it's a, another beautiful day. So our friend Kedge has just gone to meet Andy, another northern chum. Spend a couple of hours with him, and then she's coming back to so ours about five. And uh, no doubt we shall be filming our little meal segment this evening like we usually do. Won't we? Yeah. And then, are we back down here tomorrow? We'll probably pop down for an hour or two, maybe. Do a bit of weeding. Mm. Full of flavour. So, shall we eat the rest of these and then uh, and then get, a, get the strawberries finished and then head home? Yeah. Yeah? Morrison's then home. Very brave of you. Oh. Yeah, that looks alright to me. Yeah, adds a nice bit of colour to the to the bottom. Yeah, of the plot it does, doesn't it? And the strawberries in here, very Boulevard, so. Going for the dockers, yeah, because they're the ones that really need, you know, they're pretty much all dockers right now, Jess. I know. Look at these buggers. I'll need the um, the horsetail bucket, Jess. Might as well get shut of it as we go, right way. Yeah. Right. That's quite a small one actually. Yeah. 
we'll have to pickle some of these, Jay. Well, we'll see. Probably, yeah. But we've got quite a few people we can pass stuff on to as well. I'm sure they would be appreciative of. <laughs> wow, fabulous. Look at that, look at all them greens. We'll be eating all these greens, yeah. I'm not wasting none of these. Well, you said you are going to do a pesto, didn't you? Yeah. Here, pass a, pass a couple to our buddy. Damon. Be nice to your allotment neighbours and your allotment neighbours will be nice to you. And that's how it goes. Oh, didn't mean for that one to come out. You go back in there for a little bit. <laughs> in the name. I don't know whether it's just because we've grown it ourselves or there is something about it that's really special. Can I chop a bit? Yeah, just pick a bit. Just, I'm gonna go for this bro. Yeah, this bit looks nice. Mmm. Oh no, didn't mean to do that. Fabulous. Look at that, Jay. That's amazing. Amazing. A basket full of goodies to take home. Are you rocket? Yeah, thankfully. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get them edge pieces there. Because we do like a lot of rocket on our pizzas, don't we? We do, and there's three of us to be fair. Right. In fact, I would go as far as to say the pizzas, the French bread pizzas would not be the same without the rocket. Absolutely. Right. Right, amazing. And it, I, we've not made a bleeding dent on it. 
We've not made a dent on it yet. Well, so. we've made a dent in the radishes. Yeah. But literally just a dent. Okay. Right. Hi, Sunday. It's the last day of our filming at the allotment. She's still here. I'm still here. Okay. And for those of you that watch our, if you're watching this on Monday, the day it goes up, if you watch our meals vlog tomorrow night, covering our last seven days of meals, you will see us three gorgeous people <laughs> having our baguette pizzas covered in homegrown rockets with a little topper made of peas and radish from here and the ends of the tomatoes that I didn't use. It was delightful. Bit of white wine vinegar, bit of salt, and we put it on top of the... We're her idea. Yeah, I was going to have it as a side. Yeah. She whacked it on top. Bang I was it on like, top. And then a bit of oil, garlic oil you on the top of yeah, it yeah. Which one of you sent us? Oh, it was very nice, whoever it was. <laughs> Thank you. So we, it's a quick visit today. Um, we're going to see what we can do with Berry Boulevard. Yeah, our, our berry bushes. The, you know the actual tree bushes <laughs> got bushes aren't they yeah. the berry bushes are now bearing fruit and we don't want the birds nicking them all so we've got four bamboo jubblies and we're gonna <laughs> we've got <laughs> we've got some net in the shed and we're gonna try and fashion some kind of tent uh, to keep the birds off aren't we that's the main project for today isn't it it, it is with because yeah other than watering. Mm -hmm. um, so welcome back to day three of filming of vlog 26 at plot 25. It's all numbers. You know what to do? Oh, oh we've just got to go that way? Yeah, dramatically. I don't know how. Well, however you want to. Okay. <laughs> Dig them up and eat them. <laughs> oh, right, yeah. Good on them. So sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so that'll be good. It, it, it's like, you know, maybe, you never know. We might just get a whole wall of peas there. You never know. Mm, carry this finger in me a lot, man. <laughs> Yeah. Nice. And then. So I feel firm and secure. Do that. All right. In here. Well, we can see. Let's 
We pins. can but try. We can but try. So we've had to order some more net from Amazon to fit over the trees of Berry Boulevard. We tried, oh we tried. Yeah, <laughs> multiple times. Uh, we've watered and um, we've pretty much done it. Oh, and planted some peas. Yes. Uh, planted some more peas because the peas we had on our dinner last night were delicious. We want more. Um, so yeah, that's kind of it for this week. Big shout out to Tessa for the strawberry planter because it's beautiful. Big shout out to Leslie and Polly for the tray uh, which we'll be using in our little greenhouse at the back. Um, thank you guys. Always. Uh, oh and a big shout out to Jane for the uh, metal net supports. They're at home, haven't opened them yet. Thank you Jane, much love to you. Um, so yeah, we're going to go home now. Spend a bit more time with Kedge before she goes home. Mm -hmm. Kedgery, affectionate name. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and then you will be seeing this on Monday, no doubt. Right now, you sat with the brew watching this, and I will be too. Yeah. Well, are yeah. you going to watch? Of course, I will. <laughs> <laughs> She'll watch everything we do. She's not I try. Less. I do watch some. Yeah. So we hope you've enjoyed the ongoing progress here at Plot 25. Um, yeah, because it's harvesting now, it's like... Yeah, it never stops, it never it's stops. It's exciting now. Yeah, now we're at the bud point though, where we're taking stuff home. You, you saw that basket yesterday, I, I'm still buzzed about that. Still. Uh, and I've still got loads of radishes and radish greens at home to use. For future reference. Great, isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely great. As always, we ask if you've enjoyed this vlog, please do consider giving it a thumbs up and if you haven't already please do also consider subscribing to the channel and hitting the bell for notifications because we upload at least minimum four times a week yeah. minimum let's do this love you mister love you mister <coughs> Cheers. Cheers. love you care <coughs> oh love you guys too and <laughs> um, love you guys thank you so much for watching and for all your continuous ongoing support you rock our world never forget that uh, we'll see you again very soon and until then, please be excellent to yourselves and each other. Yay! Now, shout by loves with me. Oh, I Northern you. and very, quite loud. Can you do me a little? Yeah. Bye loves! Right. Yeah. Okay. Are you ready? Right. Three, two, one. Bye, bye loves! loves.